Well, that's the state of my GitHub profile at the moment. It's time to change that. In today's video, we're going to be covering the following topics. I will let you know about my current machine learning knowledge background, followed by some textbooks unboxing. Then I'll show you the specific textbook that I chose to start with my journey to learning machine learning with Python. And also let you know what are the prerequisites to start learning machine learning on your own if you are looking to do the same. And then we'll take a look at the two options available to set up your computer for learning machine learning. So my prior knowledge of machine learning concepts and skills is rather limited at the moment. Last year, during the first year of my master's degree, I took a machine learning course for physicists and that's about it. In this course, we focused mostly on linear regression algorithm and a few variations of this. We covered the main terminology, but we have not really looked in depth into many other algorithms out there. I used the Julia programming language to write my code for that course. And now I would like to also try Python as well. So there we are. If I were given a task to write even the simplest linear regression algorithm at the moment from scratch, just using my brain, I would not be able to reproduce it. Definitely my knowledge is very limited and very rusty and I would like to bring it up to speed and make sure I understand all the terminology and have a decent understanding of machine learning theory as well as some practical skills to show for. For the past three years, I've been coding in Julia programming language exclusively, and I also have some basic Python knowledge. So that's where I am with uh, coding. Well, I do know some MATLAB, but that's irrelevant to the present question. After some research, I quickly figured out that if I were to leave academia at some point, most employers nowadays ask for skills in machine learning using Python and its TensorFlow framework specifically. And I think this is something I could possibly learn on my own. And therefore I decided to just go with it. This seems to be the best next thing to add to my resume by learning TensorFlow, at least the basics and earning the TensorFlow certificate. I thought it would be a good idea to try and learn TensorFlow from Python and then follow up the same exercises that I'll be doing for uh, Python's TensorFlow or whichever other framework I'll be using. Probably I won't start with TensorFlow right away. It might be scikit-learn or Keras. Uh, anyway, I will transition to TensorFlow eventually, but once I do, it will be cool to see how the Julia machine learning framework flux.jl compares to those of Python. So we'll see how that goes. I really would like to make that side-by-side -side comparison um, from the perspective of someone who is just starting out. Like, as I said, I'm not an expert. I'm just sharing my learning journey with you. That's where we start. Right now, I would like to show you the textbooks that I ordered and show you the one that I chose to start my learning journey with. So let's see what we got next. So simple SQL, the latest edition. This SQL seems to be also like a very frequent requirement when you look for jobs. So hands-on machine learning with scikit-learn, Keras, and TensorFlow. Third edition, so that's how it looks. Quite thick. It's October 2022, so third edition. So the first one was 2017, then 2019, and lastly October 2022 is the last edition. The pages are very smooth. I'm very uh, happy with the quality of the book and it has colored figures, which is great. I really like it. I really, really like it. So, well, I see some math. Well, not surprisingly. Okay. Awesome. I'm excited. Okay, so what can I say? Seems like a nice book. 
and it'll be quite interesting to go through this. Nice. Okay, so you get the idea. And I have one more book. So, another machine learning textbook for PyTorch also has to, seems to be the same or very similar thickness to the first uh, textbook on machine learning. Okay. So this one does not have colored pictures, so it's all black and white, but as the previous one it has quite good quality pages, very um, sturdy and nice printing. I can't complain. So I'm gonna start with this one, maybe supplement with that, and as a little side project, pick up on the basics of the SQL. Textbook that I chose to start my learning with is a machine learning with scikit-learn, Keras, and TensorFlow. So I'll be using that one. I started to go through it already. So I finished chapter one, took some notes. But let's first discuss the prerequisites. So if you are looking to start your machine learning journey as well, along with me or at some more convenient time for you, this textbook claims that the prerequisites are only the basic linear algebra knowledge, so like vectors, matrices, and simple matrix manipulations. Also, no prior machine learning knowledge. So all the terminology will be introduced here, and chapter one does a pretty good job on this. Then you will also need to know some basics of differential calculus, and that's more for to help you understand the training part of the algorithms uh, rather than just learn how to use it because TensorFlow and many other machine learning libraries come with pre-made, ready out of the box uh, algorithms. You can write your own, but if you're using something that's already there, it will be nice to be able to understand how they work. And then the book will also be using some uh, basic math like exponents, logarithms, and also some basic statistics. So I think it should be pretty doable for someone who is just uh, starting out and thinking about getting into machine learning. And I think if you are at that stage already, if you think about this, then you must have at least some kind of background in these subjects. So as far as the implementation goes, there are two ways to do that. You can uh, code everything online and follow along any course or textbook using services like Google Colab, for example. They're very easy to use, easy to set up, and uh, they're also free. So you can access the GPUs online and upload your notebooks there, your data and everything you need to do your coding, which is probably what I'm going to be starting with. I checked it out, seems to be quite easy. But then there is another option to do it locally on your machine. And as long as your machine is equipped with a GPUs or a GPU uh, card, then you should be able to do that. Uh, mine is a little bit more complicated because I'm using MacBook Pro uh, 6 in inch with the newest uh, Apple uh, Silicon M1 chip. I mean, this is not the newest, but it's still uh, Apple Silicon chip. And using the GPUs, that are available on the machine uh, would be really nice, but it requires some workaround to be able to do that um, with Python's TensorFlow, as well as with Julius Flux uh, machine learning uh, library. And the way you can do that is using the metal.jl uh, framework, which was specifically developed by the Julia uh, developers to be able to access the GPUs on your Mac. So I will be going through the setup of the local uh, environments for programming uh, any anything related to machine learning on my own Mac. So I'll be doing that next video because I still haven't started uh, coding anything yet. Yeah, so in my previous video, I was talking about the importance of learning new skills. Uh, you can check it out somewhere here. Uh, it will pop up. So this is my chance to lead by example. And I hope that you can uh, join me on this learning experience. So let's learn machine learning together and perhaps inspire each other along the way.
Bye.